Queen Meg with MV Sienna's birthday honour was proclaimed by Beatrice. Sources say Princess Beatrice and husband Eduardo Mopoli Mosi are planning their second child, weighing 6 pounds and 2 ounces at 11.42 p.m. Sienna's second birthday is today. On September 18, 2021, she arrived to Chelsea and Westminster Hospital in London. Sienna is an Italian name that may relate to Eduardo's orange-red roots or the Duchess of York's flaming hair. Beatrice honoured her grandma by putting Elizabeth in Sienna's name and father. She was close to Chloe and Elizabeth. Eduardo wished his daughter a happy birthday with a nice Instagram photo. Baby daughter, happy birthday. You always offer love and pleasure in photos. Sienna walks with her back to the camera in a long sleeve dress with pink and red flowers and a straw hat with collared rims. Eduardo's photo is unique because his daughter hasn't posted any since her 2021 birth. Sienna has nobility and a lineage, thus she'll acquire a title from her father's family. Eduardo will inherit the 18th century Villa Mapoli Mosi Palace in northern Italy from the Italian nobility. Since Beatrice's other half is an Italian count, his offspring inherit accounts or contest titles. In the mirror, the Daily Mail is quoted. Eduardo's dad counts Eduardo is the lone male descendant carrying the line forward, according to Alessandro Mapalimosi. His narrative makes his wife a countess and any offspring counts or nobles. Donna York Insiders said the princess and her husband want to have more children so Sienna can have a brother her age. Beatrice wants another child to complete her family. Okay, she's been telling pals for a while that it's time to have more kids and wants to do it soon so they're all close in age. If Beatrice has another child, it will rank 11th in the royal line. As one of King Charles's seven councillors of state, Beatrice can represent the monarch on official duties, speaking exclusively to OK and referring to King Charles's plan to only have working senior members of the royal family front and centre. The sovereign's grant would be needed if they become full-time working royals, according to former BBC World reporter Jenny Bond. Both young ladies have openly discussed dyslexia and their own experiences. Beatrice and Solo Cisagini are significant topics that work better when spoken from the heart. While Beatrice and Eugenie's royal family roles are growing, these two young women are admirable. After disagreements with the royal family, Meghan and her children's titles are shaking. Music